a jail inmate eaten alive by hundreds of bed bugs. This is a crime scene. Yeah. New images from inside a psych ward at this Atlanta jail is now shedding light on how LaShawn Thompson was living in the hours before he died. When I got the phone call, I was so heartbroken. Staff at the Fulton County Jail accused of ignoring his cries for help. Now the sheriff is promising to hold his team accountable. This is absolutely unconscionable. Yeah. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Five-year-old LaShawn Thompson was schizophrenic, but other than that, he had no pre-existing health conditions. He was booked into the Fulton County Jail back in June 2022 for a misdemeanor simple battery charge. But over the course of the three months that he was there, his health had been declining. And judging by the bug-infested, filthy jail cell he was in, you can only imagine why. This case took a disturbing turn when his autopsy photos were revealed and his attorneys say that there were hundreds of bed bug bites all over his body. We ain't gonna let you pass the baton. Justice for the shot. The horrific pictures tell the story. You see these bed bugs, these lice, they were not only in his eyes, they were in his nose, they were in his mouth, they were in his ears. And with attorney Ben Crump behind them, the Thompson family says, they want justice and accountability. LaShawn laid in a jail cell. Can you imagine bugs crawling all over him? He's screaming and he's hollering. And nobody come to help him. LaShawn Thompson was found unresponsive in his jail cell September 12, 2022. The autopsy revealing no obvious signs of trauma. The cause of death, though, undetermined. It did note, however, that there was a severe bed bug infestation in the jail. Michael Harper is the lead defense attorney in the case. They did nothing to help him. There was a bed bug infestation in that unit of the jail. He wasn't the only one. Wow. He wasn't the only one who was affected by those insects and bed bugs in that entire week. Deplorable conditions that have been publicized before about the Fulton County Jail. The Southern Center for Human Rights found in a November 2022 investigation that medical professionals were brought in to address bug outbreaks at the jail. In one psych unit alone, quote, 100% of the people had either lice, scabies, or both, and they weren't showering, dressing, getting out of bed, walking, or using the toilet. This was Thompson's cell. It was filthy, rusted furniture, dirty floors, trash scattered everywhere. God forbid you get arrested and they put you in this cell with the bed bugs and the lice and the roach infestation. His brother Brad McCray says he was shocked. I don't know if people call it a cell. That's true. It looks like a death chamber. Yeah. A torture chamber. Tell him, Brad. They left him in there to die, and everybody should see it. According to attorneys, jail records show that medical and detention staff knew Thompson's health was deteriorating, but they didn't help. Instead, just watched his slow decline. They say that when his body was found by one of the detention officers, she refused to administer CPR because, in her words, she was, quote, freaked out. How do we move, not past, but how do we get what the family deserves? How do we get the answers? One, we will hold people accountable. It started last week when the Fulton County Sheriff, Pat Labat, who oversees the jail, announced three top-ranking jail staffers will be resigning. When people resign, they keep their full pensions. They keep their certifications. They can go somewhere else to work. Why not fire them? Yes. Yes. Sheriff Labat also outlining new action, including over $5.3 million in emergency funding to support the jail and proposals for a new medical provider. In terms of conditions, we just spent nearly $500,000 on decontamination. The steps last night that the board took to allow $50,000 per month to make sure that we come in twice a month to clinically clean in the medical and mental health space is a huge step, but it's just the beginning. It only took until after we got legal counsel. Now we started hearing all these type of things. Everybody needs to wake up and somebody needs to be held accountable. No lawsuits have been filed just yet, but we have learned that Colin Kaepernick has agreed to pay for an independent autopsy to shed more light into how LaShawn Thompson died. 
It's also been reported, too, that between 2019 and October 2022, 64 people have died in the Fulton County Jail, which is the highest total for any jail in Georgia in that time frame. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. all I can say. Oh my God. Shout out to you, Colin Kaepernick. I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words and I got the heebie-jeebies so I can't even finish the story. You, you, just tell me what y'all think about this because it's too messed up. <sighs> All I could think of is that movie. I don't know if y'all ever saw that movie, Freak Show. Uh, is that what it's called? At the end, all these roaches was coming out that man's mouth and his nose. And, and he, he was real clean. And he didn't want anything. He used to walk around his house with white gloves on. Ugh. Oh, I'm getting creeps. And finally, ugh, he had one roach in that apartment. And then they took over. And then they... They got all inside his body. They, okay, I'm done. I see you.